Today's beer review comes from Verdon, and this is the Half Life of Magic. It's a collaboration with Soma. It's an IPA at 6.5%, but what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to the southwest down to uh, Cornwall and Verdant. And this is their uh, Half Life of Magic. It's an IPA 6.5%. Actually, I'll look at that. Is it 6.5? Yeah, it's 6.5. Uh, and it's in collaboration with Soma, another brewery I think they are. And this is, as I said, the Half Life of Magic. It has got Muteca and Citra on the hot side. And Muteca, Citra and HBC... 586 on the cold side. So let's crack it open, get it in a glass, and see what it's going to be like. I always look forward to a Verdant beer. They always make great beers. I don't think I've ever really been disappointed by a Verdant. Uh, and this one piqued my interest. Obviously, the collaboration. I like the hops that are in this. I think that experimental hop is quite a good hop. If I put me in my posh glass as well and look at that in a glass. Beautiful, lovely yellowy custard coloured beer. Look at the colour of that. That is what you want to see colour wise from a from a New England IPA. We've got a finger fairly compacted, just a little bit off white head, but the body of that beer looks great. And it looks it's thick and hazy looking, but yeah, and I reckon the body's going to be pretty good as well. Let's see what the aroma's like first though. Well, no surprise, the Muteca is quite dominant. Lots of lime, grapefruit, a little hint of the old lemongrass, that sort of verdant sort of uh, signature savoury note. But it's it's all about Muteca. It's all about lime and zest and citrus. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's really good. Absolutely stunning beer, that. Smooth, creamy almost mouthfeel. It's a little bit cold because I got it out of the fridge and I thought I'll give it 40 minutes or half an hour or half 40 minutes. And I thought, no, I'm first day, I'm going to drink it out. So I've given it like 15, 20 minutes. It's a little cold, but it's still nice and soft, smooth. Verdant, I'd get the mouthfeel right. And the flavours are just so well balanced. There is obviously the Muteca being quite big in the flavour, but it's not as overly dominant in that lime that Muteca can have. There is a little bit more to it. There's more grapefruit, certainly. There's a little bit more lightness of citrus, more lemon sort of flavours. Maybe even a bit of honeydew melon coming in. There is that slightly savoury note, but not as pronounced as a lot of uh, recent beers. I've certainly, or I say a lot of recent beers, nearly all the beers from Verdant, especially if they're New Zealand hopped, can be a little bit savoury in a weird way, but I, I quite like that. I've got used to it. It's not quite as there. There's a lot more lightness and citrus flavours that are coming through, and that, that savoury sort of slight dank lemongrass sort of uh, flavour is not really, uh, it's there, it's in the background though, it's not really up front. Yeah, I mean, as I said, you, I've never had a bad beer from Verdant, they've always made good beers. I try and get them, and every time I have them, I think I should, I should have more. There's there's more that I miss, but this one is up there with some of the very best that I've had. So creamy. I mean, look at the lacing of the glass. You can see, you can you can see from that lacing how sort of smooth it's going to be, and how sort of soft that mouthfeel is. It's the star of it. But there's lots of citrus, there's lots of lime, and lots of grapefruit. But it's balanced. It's not, sometimes the lime can go a little bit too tart. It's not. It's just in there. You know it's a lime flavour, but it doesn't overst overstate itself. A really well-balanced beer, but I expect nothing less from the Masters at Verdant. And that's why they're in my top three breweries. And this is another cracking beer. So, the Half Life of Magic. It's a 6.5% Muteca Citra HBC 586. Yeah, I'm never quite sure that that's all about. It's a sort of mixture of it. It's not got a distinct flavour, really. It's usually a bit more tropical and it's similar to Citra. So it's difficult to sort of um, sort of identify in the in the beer. 
For me, it's Muteca. The Citra holds it back a little bit. I suppose the HPC is holding it back. But it's a cracking beer. Soma. Brand new, this one. It's only been out a week or so as, at, at this date of review. It'll be in June. Definitely worth seeking out if you see it. But as I said, any Verdant beer is always going to be good. And this one is up there in the best. So let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for The Half Life of Magic. This is an IPA, 6.5%. Muteca Citra HBC 586 is from Verdant, the Masters down in the southwest. And also Soma, you see there, Soma. I don't know who you brought Soma. It doesn't say anything on there, but it just says in collaboration with Soma. This is a very good beer. Verdant make very good beers, but look at it in the glass. It's beautiful, beautiful beer. Looks good, smells good. More importantly, it tastes brilliant. So let's go through the scores. Starting with aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money. I'm trying to remember how this was. I think it was probably about £5.60, something like that. And finally, my overall experience. Tighten the scores up. Well, it's good. We've got another beer over 80. Total score, highly recommended. Yeah, it's a great beer. <sighs> Difficult to tell whether I would say it was the best Verdant beer I've ever had, but it's definitely up there. The flavours are all very well balanced. Smooth mouthfeel. It's just it's just what you want from a New England IPA. And this is a this is a bit this is a, a fair bit above a lot of the a lot of the IPAs that I that I've I've drank recently. Um, it, it seems like to me, even though some of the supermarket ones do get in the 70s and even the high 70s, it seems like m most of them you expect around about the mid to low 70s. Then you get quite a lot in the sort of high 70s, just sort of getting close to the 80. And then you get in stuff like this, this is just over 80. Not uh, quite into the sort of 85 plus, but we'd have very few beers. Over the four years, I don't think I've had that many beers that have got over 85. So, um, but this is a really good beer. It's up there with some of the best. But, you know, you go to your bottle shop, you go online, look at Verdant, this one isn't available. Pick another one. You won't be disappointed. Really great beer, great brewery, definitely worth your time and especially your money. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, don't bother giving it a thumbs up. Instead, put a comment in on and say, Rocker, this video is rubbish and this is why. It helps. Whatever way you do, it helps. It doesn't cost you any money, but it helps the channel. All the algorithm stuff does all their magic. So likes, subscribing, comments, all very welcome. And I like hearing what you have to say about beer. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think of Verdant and what you think of the state of uh, craft beer at the moment. I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's, it's sort of on this level at the moment. I've never, I'm not getting stuff that's really amazing. And I don't think, if discounting the supermarket beer, I don't think you get anything that bad. But it's very middle of the ground at the moment. But let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one, you know what you do. Drink good craft beer and keep on rocking.